Hello and welcome back to another Monster High video. I'm Carly and today we're taking a look at the Monster High Catacombs playset. Now this thing is absolutely massive. It stands at over three feet tall, spans three different stories, and there is just so much to go over. So let's go ahead and get started. Generally, the best place to start is at the top, and this is the very top layer of the playset. This is actually above ground, which is why you see this grass here, and the actual physical entrance to the catacombs. It's this really super creepy building. You've got all of these stained glass windows. You've even got bats, vines, crumbling stone. It is super creepy. You also have a few of these little black iron gates here at the side, and this one that swings open and shut with a beautiful skelet up on top. There is this table here that has a pink skelet, and it does turn, but we'll get to that later. I've also set up a few other accessories here, like this little teeny cup, which is in the shape of a skelet, and two of these chairs. If we go ahead and move on to the other side, we have this tombstone here with some really strange markings and a doll clip. This is actually the elevator, and I'm gonna show you how to use this in just a second. There are two ways that you can go from the surface down to the actual catacombs, which is either going through this gate and going down these stairs, or you could go over to this elevator here and use it. We have officially arrived on the second floor of this playset. You have a few options here. If you came in through the elevator, you can just hang out here on this platform or go down the steps to the last one. And if you came in through the gate and the stairs, you can stop right here, clip your doll in, and let them slide down the stairs to this little platform and walk up into this area. I think this is a really cool little area. I've kind of transformed it into like a hangout slash study area. I've got a Shay's Lounge here, which has amazing detail to it. I've got this teeny tiny little laptop and a few books over on this table. There is your standard boring biology book. Snore, who wants to hear about that? And there is this, which is a personal favorite of the accessories for me, and this is a Sweet Screams comic book, which I think is super cool. I really, really want Monster High to turn this into like a webisode or a full feature film. That would be really cool. Moving on from there, I just wanna show you guys a few of my favorite features of this floor. So let's go ahead and take a peek. If you take a look at this broken pillar here, you can see a few of these little faces in there. And this is where that table up top comes into play. If you turn it, they disappear, and then they come back around. And if you look really, really closely at all these cute little faces, you'll see that they're the pets of the ghouls. You have Neptuna and Crescent and all these other ones in here, and I think that is super, super cute. We also have a few doll stands over here. Of course, we have the one from the elevator and the one from the stairs, but there's a clip that's over on this pillar and if you turn this dragon statue around, you have another clip right there. Let's move on to the final floor, which is chock full of a whole bunch of awesome features. Here we are on one of the halves of the last floor. This is big open area that I like to use as a multi-purpose thing. You have a set of staircases flanking it, which just gives it this really kind of awesome grand ballroom look. I've decorated it already with some of the few accessories that comes with this kit. I've got some candles over here. I've got this big pink poof with some treasures and a treasure map. And then over here, I've got this really cute table with a whole bunch of refreshments that are super spooky. This one is one of my very personal favorites of the set. This is one of those little water tanks, but it has Neptuna in it, which is just really, really clever. I love that. So this room can basically be used for anything you want. It looks like you've got some built-in seating back here. You've got some of these speakers. You've even got this T-Rex skeleton that's hanging out in the wall, which is just so awesome. But it does hide a few secrets. The first one, which is my personal favorite, is this inconspicuous looking clock over here, right? You just think it's a grandfather clock, nothing really interesting, until you go ahead and move the hands and boom! a door pops open which goes into my favorite room which is the mad scientist lair. The other one that we have here, I'm actually going to have to take off all of these little accessories. And this happens to be a pool on the underside. How cool is that? Oh my god. And then this last one here is a chandelier. Monster High is really big on the chandeliers, but this one likes to spin whenever you go ahead and twist the table that's up on the top floor. And then here is the secret science lair, which I absolutely adore. I think it is the greatest thing ever. I have also decorated with a few things. You have this little stand here with a book, a little candelabra, and another one of these really cool little things. This is a octopus ink pot with a quill. 
It's so clever, I love it. First of all, I love octopi, and second of all, I really like little clever things like this, so it is super, super, super cool. And then I have another candle thing over here. On this wall, you kind of have some pipes running around, and then over here, we have this printed cardboard set, which has so much detail, and it's awesome. And if you go ahead and look up at the wall, there's this crazy like Tesla ball with all these chains and dragons. And if you look here, this is actually Deuce's pet dragon. And I think it's really, really cool that they actually included him because the dragon is actually in the catacombs in the webisodes. I think it's really, really nice. Monster Hyatt just does a really great job of tying in all these things that come up in really obscure ways in the past. This set also comes with a ton of doll clips, so let's run around and find them, shall we? There's one right here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and... Okay, you don't belong to Monster High, but there's one there too. Plus, check out how creepy cool this thing is when you hit it with a black light. How clawsome is this? All right, and that's finally a wrap. I know there was so much to go over and there's so many details in this set, but that's because it is just that freaking clawsome. So if you like my video on the Monster High Catacombs playset, make sure to let me know down in the comments below with a like or even by subscribing. And never forget to be yourself, be unique, and be a monster. Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos, or you can watch one of my friend's videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples.